History, despite its apparent chaos, often whispers of the future. World War I, triggered by an assassination in Sarajevo, revealed how regional conflicts could spiral into global catastrophes. Similarly, World War II emerged from the unresolved tensions of its predecessor, fueled by economic depression and nationalist ideologies. These conflicts teach us that seemingly isolated events, amplified by miscalculation and opportunism, can ignite global infernos. The rise of new superpowers, coupled with the resurgence of nationalism and the proliferation of advanced weaponry, creates an unsettling parallel to the pre-war anxieties of the 20th century. To prevent the unthinkable, we must learn from the mistakes of our predecessors, acknowledging that the consequences of inaction are far greater than the costs of proactive diplomacy and conflict resolution. The 21st century presents a myriad of potential flashpoints, each capable of escalating into a wider conflagration. The South China Sea, a vital waterway for global trade, simmers with territorial disputes involving China, Vietnam, the Philippines, and others. The presence of valuable resources, coupled with historical grievances and rising nationalism, makes this region a potential tinderbox. Meanwhile, the Middle East remains a volatile mix of religious tensions, political instability, and proxy conflicts. The rivalry between Saudi Arabia and Iran, fueled by sectarian differences and competition for regional dominance, casts a long shadow over the region. The unresolved Palestinian-Israeli conflict, further complicated by settlements and political deadlock, adds another layer of complexity to an already combustible mix. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine stands as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace in Eastern Europe, with potential for wider escalation if NATO and Russia were to be drawn into direct conflict. Beyond geopolitical rivalries, the looming threat of resource scarcity further exacerbates tensions. Water, essential for life and agriculture, is becoming increasingly scarce in many regions, leading to competition and conflict. The Nile River Basin, shared by 11 countries with rapidly growing populations, exemplifies the potential for water stress to escalate into violence. Similarly, access to energy resources, particularly oil and natural gas, remains a key driver of international relations. As traditional energy sources dwindle and demand increases, competition for control of these resources could ignite conflicts, particularly in regions like the Arctic. Climate change acts as a threat multiplier, exacerbating existing resource scarcities and triggering mass migrations. Adding a new dimension to the potential horrors of World War III are the advancements in military technology. Cyber warfare, already a significant threat, could cripple critical infrastructure, disrupt financial markets, and sow widespread chaos. The ability of nation states and even non-state actors to launch debilitating cyber attacks introduces a dangerous element of unpredictability. Equally concerning is the development and proliferation of autonomous weapon systems, capable of selecting and engaging targets without human intervention. These killer robots raise profound ethical and strategic concerns, as their deployment could lead to unintended consequences and potentially lower the threshold for conflict. The lack of human oversight in critical moments raises the specter of accidental escalation and the possibility of machines waging war without human control. The increasing speed and automation of warfare necessitate a reevaluation of traditional military doctrines and a renewed focus on arms control and disarmament. Section 5. The New Battlefields, From the Arctic to Cyberspace the battlefields of World War III would extend far beyond the traditional theaters of war, encompassing the vast expanse of cyberspace, the depths of the oceans, and the icy plains of the Arctic. Cyber attacks, targeting critical infrastructure and communication networks, would precede and accompany conventional military operations, sowing chaos and disrupting the enemy's ability to wage war effectively. Underwater warfare, utilizing stealthy submarines and unmanned underwater vehicles, would focus on controlling vital sea lanes and disrupting enemy communication lines. The Arctic, once considered a strategic backwater, would become a new frontier for resource competition and military posturing as melting ice caps open new shipping routes and access to previously inaccessible resources. Space, increasingly militarized, would also play a critical role in any future global conflict. Section 6 
the human cost displacement, famine, and global pandemics. While predicting the exact course of World War III remains impossible, one thing is certain, the human cost would be staggering. Conventional warfare, utilizing advanced weaponry, would result in unprecedented casualties, particularly in densely populated urban centers. The use of chemical, biological, or even nuclear weapons would further amplify the horrors of war, leaving behind a legacy of suffering and environmental devastation. Mass displacement, triggered by conflict and environmental degradation, would overwhelm neighboring countries and create a global refugee crisis of unprecedented scale. Food shortages, caused by disruptions to global trade and agricultural production, would lead to widespread famine, particularly in developing countries already struggling with food insecurity. The collapse of healthcare systems and the potential for pandemics, fueled by displacement and unsanitary conditions, would further compound the humanitarian crisis. Section 7, The Fog of War, Predicting the Unpredictable. While historical analysis can offer valuable insights, predicting the precise trajectory of a future World War III remains an exercise in speculation. The complex interplay of national interests, technological advancements, and unpredictable events makes it impossible to forecast with certainty the course of such a conflict. The fog of war, as Prussian military theorist Karl von Clausewitz famously observed, obscures even the most carefully laid plans, leading to unintended consequences and unforeseen outcomes. The emergence of new technologies, such as artificial intelligence and hypersonic weapons, adds further layers of complexity and unpredictability. The potential for non-state actors armed with advanced weaponry and driven by extremist ideologies to play a significant role in future conflicts further complicates predictions. Despite the inherent uncertainties, it is imperative that we engage in thoughtful and nuanced discussions about the potential causes, consequences, and potential paths to preventing such a catastrophe. Section 8. Survival Scenarios from nuclear winter to global governance. In the aftermath of a hypothetical World War III, the world would be a vastly different place, shaped by the scale of destruction and the choices made during the post-conflict period. Several scenarios are conceivable, ranging from a dystopian future defined by nuclear winter and societal collapse, to a more optimistic outcome characterized by international cooperation and a renewed commitment to global governance. The most pessimistic scenario involves a full-scale nuclear exchange, resulting in widespread devastation, radioactive fallout, and a prolonged period of darkness and cold known as nuclear winter. In this scenario, agriculture would collapse, ecosystems would be decimated, and human civilization as we know it would likely cease to exist. A less apocalyptic but still grim scenario involves a protracted period of global instability, marked by resource scarcity, climate change, and ongoing conflicts over territory and resources. The international system, already fragile, could collapse entirely, leading to a world defined by lawlessness and constant struggle for survival. Section 9, The Phoenix Moment, Rebuilding and Reimagining the Future. While the aftermath of World War III would undoubtedly be bleak, it also presents an opportunity for a Phoenix Moment a chance to rebuild the world from the ashes and create a more just, equitable, and sustainable global order. This would require a fundamental shift in thinking, from a paradigm of competition and self-interest, to one of cooperation and shared responsibility for the planet and its inhabitants. Central to this transformation would be the establishment of effective global governance mechanisms, capable of addressing transnational challenges such as climate change, pandemics, and the proliferation of weapons of mass destruction. This new world order would prioritize diplomacy, conflict resolution, and the peaceful settlement of disputes, recognizing that in an interconnected world, security is indivisible. Investing in education, promoting intercultural understanding, and fostering a sense of shared humanity would be critical to breaking down the barriers that divide us and fostering a more peaceful and cooperative global community. Section 10. Conclusion. Learning from the ashes of war. The prospect of World War III is a terrifying one, fraught with unimaginable consequences for humanity and the planet. While preventing such a catastrophe must be our paramount objective, it is equally important to consider the potential scenarios that could unfold in the aftermath of such a conflict. 
By exploring these possibilities, we gain a deeper understanding of the stakes involved and the urgency of pursuing pathways to peace. By learning from the mistakes of the past, recognizing the interconnectedness of global challenges, and embracing cooperation over conflict, we can strive to create a future where the horrors of World War III remain confined to the pages of history books. Ultimately, the choice lies with us, to succumb to the patterns of the past or to forge a new path toward a more peaceful and sustainable future.